Breaking news. A reinvigorate Southeast. The World Trade Organization Director General calls for Igbo leaders' economic cooperation. This news is early yesterday. I got it on my inbox and I said, let me bring it to the general public. Our sister, our dear mama, Dr. Ngozi Okonjo Iwala is on it again. He really said a lot uh, on the economic uh, summit and the security summit that happens uh, in uh, Owere, the capital of Imo State, during the, I think, on Thursday. And on Saturday again, she came out with a resounding call for unity and economic progress in the southeastern part of the country. And he said, he, she really said a lot concerning the agitation of Biafra and the importance to look into it. Yes, she said it. Not minding that she is a world figure. This one is not a federal figure, not a federal government of Nigeria figure. She is a world figure. Could you believe that she said a lot about Mazin Namdekanu, about, uh, because I listened to the speech even before they put it in writing, about uh, the, the, the agitation in the Southeast, about IPOB, I mean, a lot of things she said, and all in favor of uh, Mazin Namdekanu and the IPOB uh, movement. But the most greatest surprisation is everything that happened in that uh, uh, economic and uh, security summit in Owere, Igbo State. All the people I believed and I trust that they will raise this issue and address it properly, they didn't do that. Rather, they keep dancing around the bush because they don't want their paymasters to do what? To uh, get angry with them and suspend them from every office that they must have appointed them to. But this woman, no matter that when he said that, that the world will be looking onto her because she's a world figure. But she, 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 she said it the way things are that the, 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 the agitation of uh, Biafran and the uh, Mazenam the Canos led the uh, 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 Biafra movement is something that needs to be uh, uh, looked into. And know exactly what is really the problem. Just like uh, uh, Pius and Empires said that uh, the the Southeast governors and every other stakeholders in the government house need to negotiate with the uh, IPOP, IPOPs and know exactly how to tackle the menace that is benefiting the Southeast. But our so-called governors, they gang up. That is why I said anything that happens to any Biafran in the Southeast, we should stop calling about the Fulanese. We still calling about the house of Yorubas. Let us hold our leaders responsible, which is uh, the five eastern governors that we have in the east. Their duty, they are the, 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 the general, I mean the grand commander of all of the, the state they managed. So anything that happened to any citizen there, let us stop blaming the north or the west. Let us blame it on our governors. My dear people, happy uh, Sunday and uh, happy new moon. May the God Lord Almighty, the Chukwu Kebe Mone Premier Nile, and the gods of our land protect you, preserve you, and provide you all you needed in this month to excel as long as you have something doing. If you don't have anything doing and looking for a job, I'm hoping to get one. May the gods of our land protect you and provide you a job that will do what? That will solve at least little of your problem because I know a uh, <laughs> problem, no, they finish according to our brother, we singer for music. So now, so the thing take B. Let us go to the reason why we are here this morning. And as we are doing that, remember you need to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel so that you get the get resounding news and the more interesting videos as we read between the lines. So like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. All the very, very important and very, very necessary. Let us go there. Once again, happy new month. It shall be well with all of us. In a resounding call for unity and economic progress. Dr. Ngozi Okonjo Iwala, the Director General of uh, the World Trade Organization, WTO, recently addressed Southeast Governors in Owere at the Southeast Summit on Security and Economy. Her message was clear. It is time for the Southeast to seize the opportunity for aggressive economic cooperation and work collectively to uplift the lives of its people. The two-day Southeast Leader Summit on Security and Economy held in Owere set the stage for the uh, crucial discussion in the future of the Southeast region with the team Southeast Beyond 2023. Time for a research. 
The summit aimed to explore strategies for revitalizing the region's economy, enhancing security, and fostering unity among its people. Dr. Ngozi Okonjo Iwala's keynote to address was a highlight of the summit, drawing attention to the urgent need for Southeast governors to prioritize aggressive economic cooperation. Her address resonated not only because of her esteemed position as the head of the WTO, but also because of her deep commitment to fostering economic development in Africa at large. In her address, Dr. Ngozi Okonjo Iwala underscored the importance of unity and cooperation among the Southeastern governors. She emphasized that the region's solidarity has won over time, leading to fragmentation rather than progress. Her words carried weight, reminding everyone that the challenges faced by the Southeast could only be overcome through collective effort. Not only that, but Google. My dear, Continue. One of the central themes of Dr. Ngozi Okonjo Iwala's address was the imperative for the Southeast to improve its internally generated revenue while maintaining responsible borrowing and enhancing capital expenditures. Her words resonated with the need for physical responsibility in governance, urging leaders to transparently and effectively use federal allocations. That is what we need to be doing. Create jobs for the youth so that the crime will reduce. Rather, our so-called governor of Imo State, Governor Hopeless is Odinjo, is busy planning to send our youths into exile. 4,000 youths. Let them go into slavery. For you don't care. That means you want to clear, create a very gap in that so-called Imo State if they allow you for the second time. Because if you send out 4,000 uh, youths, then what happened to other ones? They can die and go to hell, Abi. Hope is Odinjo. That is your campaign promise. You have failed woefully. Chineka Bola go tell us where to go. Chineka Bola go tell it. Because they have nothing to campaign on. Can you campaign that, oh, my three years and they're going to four years uh, of uh, rain in Imo State? I brought a, a light. I brought a good road. I brought a food for the poor. Or I employ the youth. No. At least tell yourself the truth. Campaign on my three years and they're going to four years. I killed how many millions of youths in Imo State, Moma, uh, or, uh, Omoma, Okigwe, Mbanum, Bise, and the rest of them. Yes, now that is what you're going to campaign on. That your three years and two, four years, you brought a Bubago militia group who keep on killing our people. And the most painful part of it is that a Bubago outfit is not even our people in it. Niger Delta and the Fulani Food Soldiers. With the, just a touch of informants, Igbos, they put on them to be pointing people they will kill and how they will attack them. That is what you are going to celebrate. That is what I are going to use as your campaign. Chai, this life no balance, you. This life, you no know, balance. Highlighting particularly on the untapped potential in the electricity sectors, Dr. Ngozi Iwala encouraged the region to embrace privatization and explore sustainable energy solutions such as solar and gas. Our call to action in this area is particularly timely as reliable power supply is crucial for industrial growth and economic development. To bolster economic growth, Dr. Ngozi Okonjo Iwala proposed the convening of the Southeast Investment Forum, unlike traditional investment forums. This one will be exclusively for Igbo business people. It would provide a platform to identify and address obstacles hindering greater investment in the region. This approach aligns with the idea of tapping into local resources and expertise to drive economic progress. The WTO General Director further encouraged the Southeast leaders to explore diversification strategies attracting investment in pharmaceuticals, fertilizers, labor intensive industries and digital technology. Her emphasis on digital trade as a means to empower micro, small and medium enterprises underscores the importance of embracing technology to drive growth in the modern economy. Also, Dr. Ngozi Okonjo Iwala, all the Southeast leaders to tap into its uh, diaspora resources to, to bolster the health sector. Her suggestions of floating a Southeast diaspora bond or fund 
to secure loans for critical development prioritizes speaks to innovative financial solutions that can unlock the region's potential her address at the southeast summit on security and economic south as a clarion call for unity and economic cooperation in the region her insightful recommendations backed by her vast experience and eternal perspective provides a solid blueprint for the southeast future development according to our dear mama ngozi okonjo iwala as the region moves forward it is poised to harness its collective strength embrace economic diversification and leverage the expertise of its people to build a brighter more prosperous future dr okonjo iwala's words reminds us that by working together and pursuing aggressive economic cooperation the southeast can unlock its true potential and achieve remarkable pro uh, progress in the years ahead this message is being brought to you by opuluso chidebere and uh, amanda neze from the platform of ukute reporting for the family writers press international so now the news i carry come for now this day make on i do what make on i use this one the 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 the, the, the the jollificator because i'm coming back again with another blockbuster well let us take this one oh, the last umahi dictatorial uh, governors are nigeria's problems week next witness protest articles head this one is coming from daniel of uh, boala of pdp daniel boala a former head to the 2023 uh, people's democratic party pdp presidential candidate article abubaka has little 16 the minister of works david umahi must have learned after his face off with workers of his ministry. Boala said Umahe must have learned that dictatorial governors are Nigeria's problems. He said the former governor must have learned that Nigerians are tired of nonsensical behaviors. During the week, Umahe had prevented some, some staff uh, from gaining access into the ministry for coming to work late. Agreed by the action of the former governor, the workers began a protest in front of the ministry and blocked all entry points into the ministry. Reacting to the development, Boala noted that the ministry or the minister of the federal capital of uh, territory, sorry, minister of the federal capital territory, will be in some week, would be the next to experience such an action. He tweeted, "The minister of works must have learned this from the workers' union." Dictatorial governors are the problems we have in Nigeria of today. There are rules and regulations which govern governors, not whims and their caprices. You may dominate a tribe, you cannot dominate all tribes. There is a big difference between states and the federation. Nigerians are getting fed up with the nonsensical behaviors. Even civilians, when they are in power, long enough behave like the military. The next ex governor minister to encounter protests and resistance is the FCT minister. That is why we advise Bolame Tunumbu not to appoint ex governors as ministers because they will think they are handling their states and exactly the point. Well, it is well documented and a very, very clear one. Anyway, my wonderful people, I beg, I don't want to talk too much. I just want to go straight to the news. And that is why I'm doing everything humanly possible to make sure I provide to you the number of news required from my channel on daily basis. So make on to help me share this one, like on it, comment on it, and make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you're going to get better, better updates anytime we posted a new video or a new or uh, on live on this our Okute Daily Talk. So my wonderful beer from brothers and sisters, I beg. And I'm signing out to and I come your way again. I still remain Okute Daily Talk. Bye bye for now, my wonderful people. And make on to help me share, like, and comment. I'll be right back. Bye for now. Okay,